Remember in the video where we placed photos in our templates and I mentioned that lightening them up is a really good habit to get into? Well, there are two other habits you should really start to form when using the Project Life app. And that first is exporting and saving your layout when you are through creating it. And this is something you will be doing anyways if you are not printing your pages through the app. And even though I print photo books through the app, I still export and save my layouts to my camera roll because I share them on social media and I just like to have a backup copy just in case something happens to the app on my phone or to my phone itself or something happens to my you know my albums. Um, I just like having that JPEG of the layout. And the second thing that um, you should really get in the habit of is always export an editable backup and save it somewhere you can access it in the future if needed, like a cloud service such as iCloud Drive or Dropbox. And so you're probably thinking, well, what is an editable backup? So you want to think of this backup as your layered file. And if you've used Photoshop or Photoshop Elements in the past, you'll, you'd know what I'm talking about. So remember, if you have Project Life on both your iPhone and your iPad, your layouts do not sync from device to device. If you start a layout on one device and want to finish it on another, you would have to export an editable backup of that layout to your cloud-based server in order to access it and open it up on another device. So creating an editable backup puts your mind at ease knowing you will always have a way to access your pages in case something happens to your mobile device. It would be a shame to lose all of that hard work you put into creating those pages. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to export a layout. We're going to export an editable backup and then we are going to open that editable backup on another device. So first let's export a couple of those pages I just created. I want to tap on that first one here in my June album. I'm going to tap there and I'm going to come up here and select view edit page and then come down here in the right hand bottom corner. I'm going to tap that export icon and select export. And now it is asking me what size I want to export at. Now even though I know my pages are going to be printed in a 10 by 10 album, I always, always, always export at 12 by 12. And you should do this as well. No matter what size you are going to print, always export at the largest size because when printing you can always print smaller from a larger dimension but you can't print larger from a smaller dimension. You will get some pixelation and that's just not going to look good. So I'm going to come up here, tap 12 by 12 and the app prepares to export the layout. Once it's done exporting, it's going to give you an option here and it's basically asking you where you want to export your layout to. So in this bottom scroll bar down here, I select save image because this is going to put it into my camera roll, my photos app. Okay, so let's go and maneuver there into photos. I'm going to come up here to all photos and you can see that that layout is in my camera roll. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap select and I want to take that layout I just exported and I'm going to add it to my 2017 Project Life album folder or album album <laughs> that I created in photos. And if I was to come back up here to album and scroll to my 2017 Project Life album pages, I can see that the photo of my or my layout is is right there. Okay. Let's do the other side of this double page spread. I'm going to X out of this. And now I want to select the right hand side. 
I'm going to tap View Edit Page. And just like I did before, come down to Export, tap Export, 12 by 12 image. And then down here in that scroll bar at the bottom, Save Image. And it is saved in my camera roll. Now let's create an editable backup. So I'm going to tap on that first layout I did again. And this time from the drop down menu, I'm going to select Export and Editable Backup. And you will notice it's not going to open up the layout for you. Okay, it's asking me where I want to save this backup to. So I keep all of my editable backups on iCloud Drive. So I will select Save to Cloud. And you will notice that up here, I have this little bar that appeared. I'm going to tap those three little dots. And my iCloud Drive folder opens. I do have a folder set up for Editable Exports Project Life 2017, and that is where I'm going to save it to. And then over here, I tap Add, and it's going to be in there. Let's do one more, and then we're going to go into my iCloud Drive, and I'll show you where they're at. We're going to tap this one, the July uh, right side, Export an editable backup. Going to save it to cloud. Come up here to browse. And again, because that is where I saved the last one to, it's already going to be selected for me. So I'll just tap that and then up here to add. Okay, so let's go into my iCloud Drive or my files manager and I'm going to keep backing up and we're going to scroll down right to here where I have editable exports and because these are alphabetical you can see all of my editable backups here let's see where okay so right here here's my July dash L and here's my July or July 1-L and my July 1-R. Okay, I am sharing both of my screens right now. My iPad Pro is on the left, my iPhone 6S Plus is on the right. And I just want to show you um, where things are coming from and, you know, just to show you that you can get your layout on both devices. So I am going to come over here to the Files app on my iPhone, tap Files, and then I'm going to do a search for those editable backups for my 2017 album. And you can see that, you know, I've got a mirrored, mirrored versions here, okay? And I'm going to navigate down to my July left. It needs to just download for a second. All right. Now, from this um, screen here, what I want to do is I want to tap this, uh, looks like the export button up in the upper right hand corner. And it's going to ask me, where do I want to open this to? Okay, so at the top, on the top scroll bar, I'm going to scroll all the way to the end and then tap on Copy to Project Life. Project Life is going to open and it's going to ask you if you would like to add this page to your library. I'm going to select Yes. I'll come to my library. And this is always a little reminder um, to back up your pages. I'm just going to cancel that out. And you can see here in my completed pages section that the layout that was on my iPad Pro is now on my iPhone as well. And it's still on my iPad Pro. I will open that back up. It's right here. 
okay? So that is how you can get your pages from one device to another.